Oh, hello, YouTube. Today we're at a, in the city of Carson at the 76 uh, Conoco Refinery. Uh, we have this uh, JCB uh, wheel loader that is uh, not able to run. So um, this unit by itself weighs about, eh, give or take, 45, 47,000 pounds. But it has that big bucket in the front. So we're estimated around, you know, 51,000, give or take. Obviously, I have to deadlift it so the, the land dog could get under it and transport it to, to Fontana, which is uh, actually through SoCal. I'm going to put it on that uh, RGN. I three-parted my lines. Obviously, I did that off camera already, but I three-parted my lines on both sides, and then I have my spreader bar with my new uh, Bailey's Platinum Slings 2.0 versions. So these are actually rated for 40K, the ones on top, for five feet each, you know, with Miller spec. And then the ones at the bottom are rated for 30,000. Uh, the cool thing about these uh, slings <clears throat> is that they have a seven to one uh, safety ratio. Obviously we never could go above our, our working low limit, or at least try not to. But at least we know that we're, uh, we're in good hands in case if uh, some of these uh, loads uh, tend to spike, which they do. No unit is always uh, perfectly 50-50. Most of the time, uh, the weight is in the back, but when you're lifting off and trying to get it straight and everything, uh, sometimes the, the snatch blocks in your rigging will, will spike up uh, above working load limit. I had a back end through to this side over here which is a little tight for that RGN pretty much had to swing out and kind of S it in between here but uh, we made it <clears throat> as far as the RGN it, it won't it won't make it so they're gonna have to clear some room on this side and they're gonna have to move this little baby loader out of the way That's my bringing through here. I'm gonna share my other videos. You see me use these uh, Skookum shackles. They're wonderful. They have a, a really high uh, working load limit, which is proprietary to Skookum, which is always nice for those those heavy lifts. This one actually happens to be a one and one quarter, rated at 21 tons, so 42,000 pounds, which is nuts. So I'm gonna get my other set of uh, platinum slings and attach it to the front. Then right here. up here and rig this up oh yeah the smaller skookum ones are actually rated for 16 ton a total of uh, 32,000 pounds okay 
Hello. Hey, are you gonna pick it up and me to drive underneath it? Yeah. Have you noticed? See that how that shock hole right now when I lowered it? It's side loaded. We need to fix that. So I'm not not sure if you guys are known with know what the working low limit is on a side loaded shock hole. It's actually half of the rated uh of the rated uh, load that's on the stamped onto the side of it. So that's why it's always very important to catch things like that because uh, it can be catastrophic, catastrophic at times, especially if you put it on the on the tread side of the. Well, the shackle, even those, even though those threads are are long threads, you can easily just come off. <clears throat> You uh, refinery guys, what what is all this? All this soot. You guys could tell me what this is. It's very messy, very dirty. Just let me double check my rigging. Okay, this is on right. That's on right. Obviously, the reason I use my spreader bar is because I don't want to crush this little cage here. That's on. What happened? You like doing this? Yeah. They asked me if I like doing this. I love it. Put attention on my uh, green cable. Let me see, make sure that's not any, touching any rough edges. I could snap, a, I could tear that, that strap. Nope. And also that it's not gonna crush anything. That's good. stabilize a little bit oh yeah it's 
in the air. Oh, that flipper is super stable. Super stable. This flipper. Flipper looks like it's just glued to the ground. You want to tell me where you wanted that so I could stop you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can move it this way, that way, right? Uh, for this way and that way? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just tell me where you want it in, in relation to the truck. The bucket? Yeah. Uh, how about drop it to see how far up the, the wheels uh, stay up on that? Okay. So you want the wheels? Where do you want the wheels at? Um, like here? Yeah. I want the bucket, this part here, to do right here. This part or this part? Because um, if you want, right here? You want yeah. it right here? Yeah. Okay. Um, when that comes down, make sure it, it's not hitting the tires. When that comes down? Yeah. Well, it's probably going to hit. That looks lower than this, so by the time this hits, it looks like it's going to hit, yeah. And uh, how about... When that part hits right here then? When this part hits right here? Yeah. Okay. So if you want back up a little bit more then... Actually, no, you can't back up. If you back up more, it's, it's probably gonna hit your your neck here, no?
I won't. Oh, I have a stupid question. If if I lower this, I would probably be able to pick up the bucket with my boom, no? It would. Then the hydraulic have something? Is that locked up? Well, I mean, it has it has um what do you call them holding valves, but um on the other ones that I lifted, when I lift this, it lifts up the arm. But I'm not sure if this is the same the same case with this one. Oh, you can do that as long as that is uh in the arrow right there, in the middle right there. That's probably the best place to put it. This part in the middle right there. Do you want this here? Uh, no, no, not, not up here. More like right in here. Okay, so if you want, if you want, pull forward and I'll measure it here. Let's try it right there. Right there? Does it need to go more that way? Is it good right there? No tension. Huh? No tension. It's completely on your trailer. I think it's good right there. It's not touching anything. Oh, no. It's up. This thing's on here. You got a good six inches of clearance between your tires and that. It's on the bed. I think you're good, but what are you thinking? It, it looks good right there, but the, the bridge right here, I'm worried about. That bridge, I can't have anything on it. You cannot have anything on that? No. That slides back and forth, and if I have weight on it, it'll bend it down. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, when you're turning, right? Um, but it does look cool right there. What if you put pieces of wood here to lift it up? 
Like two big pieces yeah. here, you yeah. know? I left it the front only to so buy two pieces of wood, see if it props it up from that bridge there. Which makes sense. I thought it was a good uh, a place for it, but now I guess it does slide as you're turning, which kind of makes sense. Ready? What happened? It has some bigger ones. Well, let's lower it. Let's see what it does. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah, just those small little pieces of wood. What happened is obviously it uh, raised the bucket a little bit and it's not perfect. touching. Good, right? Yep, not touching. Yeah, cool. Perfect, I did. Thank you. You're welcome. All set to go now. You can see that the little pieces of wood enabled uh, to get some uh, some clearance. You can chain up. Let me let me derig. Are you gonna use those D rings right there? Yeah. Okay. Let me de let me derig. I'm gonna 
put my truck up because he has to uh, do something for 10 minutes. Okay. What that way? Uh, roughly 51, 52,000. You pick that much? Yeah, I could pick up more. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty heavy. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, didn't, I was like, there's no way that truck's gonna pick that thing. <laughs> and he said 50, I was like, a speed must be tripping. I think I think you meant 15. No. He's like, no, 50. I was like, I guess no way he's gonna pick it up. <laughs> Dude, that's gnarly. I did, yeah, well, we got, we have cranes, but I didn't expect. Yeah. Well, the cranes are versatile because it for the boom height. Yeah. This one obviously. I get it, you're short boom, but still, that's. Yeah, a lot stronger for recoveries for tractor trailers. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Never underestimate Big Flipper. Big Flipper is a beast. Flippers put away. Uh, the gentleman over there is uh, finishing up uh, the chaining down of the unit. I actually fall, have to follow this to Fontana to offload. So we'll see you there.